Okay, so this is Wheels Lesson 4 to Lesson 6. I've already pre-selected all these, so please study these and know exactly where to click on them. The rim width, the offset from center line, center hole, that's here from this line to this line, pitch circle, these are all your lug nut holes, and the rim diameter. Okay, but notice here too, you're going to need this for later, where these marks are. Here and here for when you have to measure. All right, so please notice these lines. Okay, so what does rim offset mean? So we didn't read this yet. The offset is the distance from the center line to the wheel mounting plate. All right, so the center line's here. Here's the mounting plate here where the lug nut holes are, the back side of it. So you can see there's an offset here already on this one. The mounting plate is a surface that is in contact with the brake drum or wheel hub. The rim offset is positive if the mounting plate is on the outside of the center line, providing more room for the brake drum or brake rotor. Negative if the mounting plate is on the inside of the center line, and zero if the mounting plate coincides exactly with the center line. The rim offset is also known as the ET value. ET, which is from the German word, I'm not even going to try to say it, translated as insertion depth. So what does the rim offset mean? The distance from the center line to the hub mounting surface. Yes. Find the following on the figure. All right, so center line is going to be this line right here down the center, and then the mounting plate. What type of offset is this? Okay, so we're looking at here's the mounting plate, here's the center line, so Negative is the mounting plate is on the inside of the center line. The mounting plate is on the inside of the center line. So here's center line, here would be the inside. What type of offset is this? So here we have center line, and now you see where the plate is. Positive is the mounting plate is to the outside of the center line, providing more room for the drum and brake rotor. So right here. So here we see positive. What is the advantage of the positive offset? More room for the brake. Okay, what type of offset is this? Well, they're both right on the same line, so there's zero offset. Now we're going into lesson five, wheel dimensions. The most important dimensions of the wheel are width, bead profile, diameter, offset, pitch circle diameter. So, Five and a half inch J 14 ET 10 4 times 140 means that five and a half is the width of the rim in inches. So that's this point to this point over here. J is the bead profile code and indicates the height and shape of the tire bead profile. X indicates the fact that the wheel rim is cast in one process. 14 is the diameter of the rim in inches. ET10 represents the offset in millimeters. 4 by 140 means 4 bolts with the pitch circle diameter of 140 millimeters. So, 
This should actually be down here. So we just read all this. Sorry, I didn't know it was on the last one. So this is our first question. Here, everything corresponds to this. So what is the most important parts? All these are important parts. Okay, so now find the following designations. The pitch circle. Well, this is the pitch circle, four by, okay, diameter of the wheel. So which one's the diameter of the wheel? Well, 14 is the diameter of the rim. Width of the wheel. Up here, five and a half is the width of the rim. Bead profile code. Well, the bead profile code here is J. Offset, well, that would be our last one, the ET10. Okay, now here it says we got to measure. Use a ruler to find out what kind of rim this is. Measure the width of the rim. So we have to use inches. So here it's at the inch side and centimeter side. So remember, it was roughly about right here. Is where we need to measure. So we have zero to six. So we can put in six, and check that, and see, oh, we were right on target. Nice. What does the letter J stand for? Well, J is the bead profile code indicating the height and shape. And that's this middle one right here. Measure the diameter of the rim. Okay, so in inches again. So we got to put inches here. Remember, it's somewhere about this area, give or take. I'll set it about right. <coughs> About right there. Go about right there. Looks about 15 inches. And we were, oh, we were just slightly off, but they still gave it to us. All right. What does the ET represent? Well, ET represents the offset. Measure the offset. Okay, so here they're looking for millimeters, but we have a centimeter wrench. So we gotta measure this first from the plate to the center line and it's right on two centimeters. So two centimeters would be 20 millimeters. 10 millimeters per centimeter. The wheel has the markings. How many bolt holes does this wheel have? Well, count how many lug nut holes. There are four in this wheel. What size does the pitch circle indicate? Well, you gotta look at all these different ones here. This one here is gonna be not even on the lug nuts, so we're not gonna count A. B, again, not to the center. See these dotted lines going around? That's gonna be your center. So here we see this one's on the top. The only one that's dead center is D. D is the dead center of both lug nut holes. So that's going to be your pitch circle. A 
Okay, so now we got to measure the pitch circle and it's looking for millimeters again, but all we have is a centimeter and inch. So let's do it in centimeters. What you're going to do is try to put the zero right in the middle of one of the lug nut holes right here. And you come up and you see 11 centimeters right in the middle of the other lug nut hole. But it's asking for you in millimeters. So remember 10 millimeters per centimeter. So 11 would be 110. Okay, now here is a five lug. So we want to find the center dotted line. And since there's going to be no holes exactly across from each other, you're going to find which one of these has a measuring line right in the center of the hole. Well, the only one that does is C right here. And just to be sure, we see the line over here is right on the center line. So the pitch circle here is going to be C. And let's move on to the last 